chances are you've heard of the terms mitigation and adaptation used in the climate context before. These are the two major ways in which we can respond to climate change. Let's start with climate change mitigation. Mitigation refers to any efforts to avoid or reduce emissions of heat-trapping greenhouse gases that are being released into the atmosphere. Reducing these greenhouse gases would prevent the planet from warming to more extreme temperatures in the future. In addition, it would have other direct short-term benefits such as cleaner, more breathable air, as well as reduced cases of illness associated with air pollution. When considering options one could take to mitigate climate change, switching from coal to renewable energy is one of the most effective approaches. This switch to clean energy can significantly reduce the amount of greenhouse gas emissions being released into the atmosphere through the burning of coal. A second example of mitigation is investing in urban nature. We could invest in urban nature by planting trees within municipalities. Because trees absorb carbon dioxide, tree planting can also reduce temperatures, improve day-to-day -day life for pedestrians, informal traders, and households. Now that we've covered climate change mitigation, let's look at climate change adaptation. Adaptation can be defined as responding and reducing vulnerability to the anticipated impacts of climate change. The difference between climate change mitigation and climate change adaptation is that mitigation is aimed at tackling the causes of climate change, whereas adaptation looks at how to reduce the negative effects of the anticipated impacts of climate change. Adapting to climate change can involve altering our behavior, systems, and in some cases, ways of life to protect our families, economies, and the environments in which we live from the impacts of climate change. The more we reduce emissions right now, the easier it will be to adapt to the changes we can no longer avoid. An example of an effective approach to climate change adaptation could be adapting spaces that are susceptible to high levels of heat, such as dense city centres. Dense city centres are susceptible to a phenomenon known as the urban heat island. Urban heat islands are spaces where buildings and paved surfaces accumulate and store heat, causing it to become hotter than outlying areas. To prevent adverse effects of heat islands, municipalities could put in place measures to reduce the impact of rising urban temperatures. Such measures could include investing in urban greening, such as paths of trees along roads, creating green open spaces such as parks, or even establishing rooftop gardens. As you can see from this example and the previous discussion, some activities such as planting trees can have both mitigation and adaptation benefits.